Hi, my name is Håkan Ljubhammar and I'm in charge of architecture and portfolio at Ericsson. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about cloud computing. I will talk about some basics and also some history. In the early 2000s there were some big web companies building huge data centers in order to serve their business, like Amazon and Google. But soon they realized that they had spare capacity during off-peak hours. So they started to offer that spare capacity to consumers and enterprises connected to the internet anywhere in the world. And that was the starting of cloud computing, basically. What has happened since then is that new service providers have entered building localized clouds or data centers with maybe more specific purposes, like higher level of security or higher level of availability. In order to have a good experience of a service executing in a cloud environment, you also have to have a good connection between the user and the cloud or and the data center. Uh, and that connection is not necessarily only you to one service provider but could be different transport networks where you have to traverse the quality of service capabilities across different domains. And this becomes even more difficult if this connection is mobile to handle the quality of service aspects of this. That is basically the cloud landscape with data centers, connectivity with different types of quality of service. So what does Ericsson do in this? We help operators and service providers to build the data centers and we also help them to provide the connectivity to the data centers in a quality of service fashion, both on the fixed side and on the mobile side. On top of that you need solutions to handle security, both on the transport link and in the data center itself. And also management solutions in order to efficiently be able to provision new services, new applications or new users, scale this up and down, have performance monitoring, do charging of these services and all these things. So the entire management layer on top of this is an important component. Another specific case of cloud is the communication space. Traditionally, enterprises have had their own PBX that has served their communication needs te for telephony within the company. That communication suite has actually grown beyond telephony. And today we require in an enterprise presence, collaboration, document sharing, video, all these things and the PBX just doesn't really provide all those services. So the normal thing now is that this is outsourced to an operator, it's communication as a service instead, uh, and this is called unified communication as a service. And in order to make that work to any of the people in the enterprise over a fixed link or a mobile link, there are quite a few things that needs to be solved on that level. So that's an example of an application that we provide in the cloud space. So to summarize, we have to build the data centers. We have to connect the users with the data centers over fixed connections or over cellular connections. We have to have security solutions for this. And we have to have management solutions where we can provision new services, new <coughs> users and handle charging and all these things. On top of that we also have the unified communication solutions that can execute in the cloud. So thanks for listening, hope you have enjoyed this little tutorial about cloud computing.